and them having interwining the, the thread at the four corners of the talit and their tassels to remind them of the law of God. That the law that it's supposed to remind them of is to rest in God for life. <laughs> and the, the thread that they're supposed to intertwine is one thread. It's a blue thread. And it's the thread and the color for grace. And so what God told them to do was to take this blue thread that would remind them of grace and intertwine that into their, their tassel at the corners of their talit. And that would remind them of the law of God. And so every time they looked at that, they're supposed to see the law of God, which actually says to rest in God or to enter into his rest. Wow. That's why the Sabbath was one of the first things in the Ten Commandments. Enter into God's rest. Rest in God and his ability to feed you with life. Mm. Right? And that's the law that, that God wanted them to be reminded of. Not all these do's and don'ts. It was one law. Rest in God. If you need life, rest in God. If you need to be set free from death, rest in God. Rest in God. Rest in God. Rest in God's righteousness. And, and thunder, hunger and thirst after righteousness, you have to first ask yourself these questions. Whose righteousness? Are you hungering and thirsting after? Oh, good question, yeah. I mean, we all just like function. We don't realize that we effortlessly, I mean, not us, we've been walking in grace for a while, but I'm saying most of us, at one point, we're reading these verses and we just automatically define the terms. And we don't even realize it. We immediately think hunger and thirst after righteousness means hunger and thirst after producing the right behavior. Yes. Yeah. That's not what it says, though. Well, whose righteousness are we hungering and thirsting after? Ours or God's? God's. What can our righteousness get us? Nothing. I mean, the scriptures are real clear about that. Yeah. That our righteousness is as filthy rags. And so we sit with that scripture that says our righteousness is as filthy rags. And then we think that Jesus is now teaching us to hunger and thirst after our own righteousness. Yeah. Even though it's filthy rags. Yeah. And we, we never, like, weighed these things in the balance. So whose righteousness are we hunger and thirsting after? God's. Why are we going to hunger and thirst after God's righteousness? Because he's the one that can give us eternal life. He's the one that can give us the kingdom. Right? And so we're going to hunger and thirst after his righteousness. Right? That's whose righteousness we're supposed to hunger and thirst after. Now, why would Jesus want to be teaching people that? Because God doesn't desire that any would perish, but that all might come to him and have life. So hungering and thirsting after righteousness would basically be hunger and thirst after God, man. Hunger and thirst after God and his equitable deed and character towards you, right? And in that, the kingdom will be added to you. Yes. The kingdom will be given to you as a free gift. You'll be clothed in life as a free gift because God's righteousness is the only thing that can give life. 